Hi guys, welcome back to you, me and the family. I hope you are all well and having a fantastic week. It is lovely weather here at the moment while I'm recording this. And um, we are in my kitchen at the moment. Kids are out in the garden, or two of them are. One's on the sofa, Steve's dancing behind the camera and Chloe is revising in her bedroom. So you might have some people come in and out, you might hear some noise, but that's that's my family. Um, been to Aldi to do the second part of our weekly food shop because I needed to get some protein yogurts for myself and then I needed to get some baked beans for the children because they are fussy buggers and they will only eat Aldi baked beans. And we've completely run out and I need baked beans for one or two of the meals this week. I'll have a look on the meal plan in a minute. But while I was in there, I managed to score big on the strawberries. They had all their strawberry pallets reduced down to 50p, 50% uh, 50 off, so that was great. Took them down to about 89p. And then um, picked up some new items, which Steve was quite excited about because it's barbecue sauce. And um, where else was it? Something else I was excited about. I don't know. Can't remember. Um, but I ended up spending seventy-four twenty-nine in there. I will put the price on the screen for you so that you can see how much each each item cost. And I'm well excited because my new cookbooks turned up. I'm a sucker for cookbooks, but I love the Batch Lady. I've got all her books so far. And she's just released this one and um, I'm going to be sitting down and seeing what recipes I can get from there. Last night I was on Instagram and I was just flipping through like you do. You just mindfulness, mind, mindfulness, winding through. And then one of her new recipes came up and it was the white chocolate and raspberry pecan brioche bake. And that looked absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to look it up in this book and I think I'm going to read, like, make it for the family and see how we get on. But I'm looking forward to that. I'll let you know if this book is any good or whether I recommend getting it. But I do love The Batch Lady. Um, but that's not why you're here. You're here to check out what's behind me, as you can see. Take you off the, iP off the tripod and show you what I get, shall we? Oh, God, guys. Every time I have to, I start recording, right, before I do, I have to say, I am recording, do not swear. And with my last food haul, I had to edit it because Steve swore in the background. And he's just done it again. Not meaningly, no, I didn't know that he had done it until I shouted Steve. But luckily, it was right at the beginning. So I didn't have to do the whole video over again. But I've kicked him outside now. He's outside with the kids. He can stay out there until I've recorded this. He's a right little... He's in a wind-up mood, I tell you that. But, um... <laughs> sorry. Not that you needed to know that. Um, this is my Aldi haul. This is all I needed for this week. As far as I can... As I know and can think of. But I have got some great deals. I have got some new products. And some bits I'm looking forward to having as well. So... Me, Steve and Nathan went to Aldi and this is why we went, baked beans. I got 12 tins because like I said at the beginning, they are the only baked beans my family will eat. We've still got a six pinter and a four pinter of milk left over. So I only got one that will keep us going. Strawberries, absolute great deal. They're the wonky ones, well not wonky ones, they're these ones, and they're normally £1.89, yeah one eighty nine, and I got them with 50% off, so they took 95p off, so fantastic. Um, there was six punnets, but um, Nathan attacked them as soon as they went in the trolley, and he inhaled a punnet of strawberries, so there's only five there. And then I did pick up one of the bigger punnets as well because they looked nice. And I thought I might have some strawberries after dinner tonight. Yummy. I needed some frozen mixed veg for our chicken, uh, chicken fried rice this week. I'm going to put some of that in there. 
rather than just pe uh, peas and sweet corn I'm going to put this in and then it's got carrots and green beans as well so Steve's going to go put that in the freezer for me in a minute he threw some knickknacks in there the nice and spicy so he will have them I got some walnut halves for me to snack on high in fiber and protein yes they are high in calories but they're a healthy calorie good good oils rather than a packet of crisps um we've got some tender stem broccoli with 50 percent off i was thinking i might have this with a side um instead of pizza tomorrow night I'll probably have that on the side of something what I have because I won't be having the pizza. Uh, I've shown you the strawberries, shown you the beans. Ketchup, because I know we was running short, but I don't know how much my pantry is running low because my kids drink this stuff. And I haven't checked that cupboard in my pantry for a little while, so I don't know how many bottles we've got. But a new one got, got out of there over the weekend. So I thought I'd just grab one for now and then I, when I put that in the pantry I can actually stock take and see how many we've got left. Raspberries, I haven't been able to get them from Tesco's or Asda when I get the delivery. So I've actually picked up three punnets while I was in Aldi. Two punnets of blackberries and they had 33% extra free which is great because me and Nathan love blackberries. Got the family's usual favourite barbecue sauce, which is this Skeeter's original barbecue sauce. And then I got the New York style, New York Steakhouse one as well. We have got on the meal plan tonight, Hunter's chicken fries. And I'm just going to use one of each of those bottles with the Hunter's chicken rather than busting out a Hunter's chicken sauce, which would be all good. These are what Steve was excited about. Um, sorry, bashing the camera. They are starting to bring out all their barbecue and summer new flavours of like mayonnaise and stuff. But we're not big mayonnaise lovers in this house. My kids and Steve are salad cream lovers. I don't like either. I occasionally like garlic mayonnaise on the salad. But they are barbecue lovers. So these are what we've got. We've got the jerk one, jerk barbecue, tangy and spicy. It's got the medium spice, like logo-y thing down the bottom, as you can see there. Then we've got the honey and chipotle um, barbecue, sweet and smoky. And then we've got the sweet whiskey, which is sweet and spicy as well. They're all the same price, which you will see on the screen now. And I will be using them in the fridge for like sauce, like dipping, so they can all see which one they like. I needed a bag of salad, so I got the Italian style. I got two packets of the rice cakes. They shrunk these down. They used to be, um, we get look, you can see there's six in there. They used to be nine, but they now shrunk the packet down and then put it at 99p which was what the price was originally when they first brought these out in Aldi. Um, where I am watching what I'm eating, I am cutting out all like crackers and crisps and stuff, but I am craving like that crunchy texture. I'm eating a lot of fruit and veg and salads and meats and stuff, but I am craving that crunchiness. So that's why I got the nuts and the rice crackers. I know they're not the best, but they're a bit healthier than... Um, crisps so i got them plus the kids like them as well fish fingers for nathan for saturday night a cucumber for salads another salad packet which is baby at uh, rocket and baby leaf salad so the tortoise will have some of this and then i'll have some of this chia seeds to go in my overnight oats i did try finding flax seeds or milled flax and all that lot but they didn't have none so I think I'm gonna have to go to Sainsbury's and pick that up um, and then at the back we got Nathan's usual fruit shoots we was <laughs> see I would rather get him the flavored water which is slightly better than these but with him being so visual and seeing how much his food changes if bubbles 
Where's the bubbles? Sorry, Nathan wants his bubbles. Shane's got them now. Um, if we were to change the colour of his actual juice, he he wouldn't recognise it as his flavour juice and he wouldn't drink it. He would just think it's water and he will not touch it. So that is why we have to stick with these fruit blasts. So I got two of the summer fruits, two of the black currant. Picked up some of this. Uh, Harvest Morn Protein Granola. It is the berry one, which is I like. And then I'm going to have a little serving of this with my yogurts in the morning when I do have breakfast. And then I have my protein stuff, which is all good. I had, I got some of these last week and I could only get the strawberry flavour and that is lovely. So, so thick and filling. But I wanted the peach and passion fruit that I saw that they do sell, but I couldn't get at the time. But I managed to get two of the peach and passion fruit today. And then I've got one of the raspberry as well. So they're all good. I got the strawberry yogurt drinks last week. They didn't have the mango yogurt one, but they have today. So I picked up two of them, see if I like them. Got two mousse pots. So I can have sort of a sweet treat after dinner. Whoops. To keep me full so that I don't start raiding the sweetie cupboard at night time because night time is my problem it's when we're in bed and we're watching a film and I just want something sweet not because I'm hungry but because I just need something sweet so I've picked up this high protein lemon mousse one and then this high protein passion fruit which looks absolutely lovely there we go if it's going to focus um, I still can't find the yogurts that I had before where they're layered. This is like the protein peach and passion fruit where it's just all mixed up together. But I had ones from Aldi before where they're um, fruit pot at the bottom and then the yogurt at the top, the fromage fray. But I can't find them again. So I'm just having to stick with these. But they are very, very nice. And they do keep you full for long. And then... So when I do want an, like a chocolatey sweet treat, I thought I'd try these chocolate pudding pots, which again, high in protein, and then hopefully that will suffice my chocolate craving. And if it focuses, for the whole pot, it's only, oh, I'm shaking, sorry, 159 calories. So that's really good as well. So there's my proteiny bits. Uh, we have some cake bars. I'm guessing these are like the galaxy ones that you can buy. Um, they kind of give me that vibe. They were 99p. I don't know if these are new or whether I'm just late to the club. They're six bags of pretzels already portioned out. And I thought Chloe would love these. They, I can't remember how much they were. So I will put the price on the screen like I keep saying. But I thought these would be great for when she goes back to school. I got the salted pretzel, which I know she likes. And I couldn't remember if she has had and if she likes the sour cream and chive pretzels. I'm sure she'll let me know. If she doesn't, then one of the other children will eat it, I'm sure. But already portioned out, so I don't have to. One less job for mummy to have to do. Nathan saw the chocolate chip brioches and attacked. Um, so we picked up two of these because he hasn't had them for a while. We've been trying to get him to eat um, the chocolate uh, hot cross buns that we've had and pancakes. So he's been using them up. Now they're gone. He can start having his chocolate chip brioches again. He had two of them in the supermarket. We've got one bag untouched. I got this for the rest of the family for breakfast this week. But that will probably be one breakfast this week. And then last item which is new, there we go, I go back so you can see it, it is the Harvest Morn Choco Shells, which again, I'm guessing these are like Cocoa Pops version, it says new, so it's new to the shop, 12 servings, that's my family's version of six, if I'm lucky, because they don't do a small portion, but that is everything that I got from Aldi today, that is will be all the shopping I get this week so please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it 
If you have any questions about the protein stuff, if you want me to let you know if they're good or not, just write a comment down below and I'll let you know once I've actually eaten them, <laughs> if they're good. And if you have any hints or tips or advice on um, that crunch crunchiness that I'm craving while I'm trying to watch what I eat rather than crisps and crackers and stuff, again, please let me know because it's that that's driving me mad. I'm fine eating fruit and veg, absolutely love the stuff, but it is the crunch, the crunchiness that I am craving at the moment. But um, I'm going to stop waffling on. I'm going to get this lot put away. I've got to get dinner started. And um, I hope to see you again soon. Take care, guys. Bye.